guys welcome back to the channel um, so I'm gonna show you guys something I've been working on here for a few days I actually got pretty frustrated but I think I got her figured out now now one thing I've been kind of working on because it's definitely a skill I've wanted to to build was I really want to uh, start a fire with a bow drill now um, I definitely learned a lot. I made quite a few mistakes. It's actually my, my fourth day of trying this. I got a really good amber yesterday, but I kind of wasted it. So I didn't get the fire going. So I want to show you guys from here on out, I'm because I'm guaranteed that today I, I will get an ember. I will get a fire um, with a darn stick. All right. So what you're going to need is you're going to need a few things. One, you're going to want a uh, piece of wood with a nice curve and then you're gonna need uh, some sort of string. I just use paracord because um, that's what I'm, I'm always, I, I usually always have paracord on with me. So it's something easy for me to carry and use. That's something I'm familiar with. Um, all I did for a knot is just like a modified hitch, um, a hitch knot. This side I left a little bit looser. That way if I need to adjust the tension on this, I can. Um, now your spindle, and one mistake I was kind of doing was I was making two really big points and basically this is the, the part that's going to be up into the bearing block portion of it and this is the part that you're actually going to make making the friction on the piece of wood to start your fire. Um, and then you need a piece uh, like a, a half round like that and that's going to be your bearing block something you can you know grab nicely and then as um, for the friction fire where you're gonna try to get your ember uh, also called the burn plate this is actually a piece of uh, western cedar so um, let's get started here I'll show you guys uh, the steps that I'm at always have your um, your tinder bundle ready and it is freaking windy today so I hope that doesn't work against me but uh, yeah, let's get going. So all you want to do, you want to start with your uh, your burn plate. You just want to make a little hole, just just some to get to uh, get it all started, and then uh, do that. And then on your bearing block, same thing. You just want to make a little hole. Just to get it all started it will burn in a little bit so you don't need to be too too crazy with that so let's see here yeah i'm happy with that all right so now you take your bow drill we'll see if this cord is too tight and all you need so the end that you want to be burning in always point that up and then you this this part can be a little tricky but you want it to be nice and tight so you want there to this to actually like snap right in place then you know she locks in real nice right actually we might have to loosen this off just a bit you'll you'll uh, start figuring out how tight you need this it's really really is a learning curve I'm still don't really have it all totally figured out but there we go so you see it just snaps in place you want there to be nice tension so roll this right down in my hand and uh, put my one foot, sometimes you know what, I'll even use my knee on it, which seems to work pretty good. And then I'll just, uh, actually, let's oh. okay. Sorry for all the noises around here, I'm actually in my yard today. Uh, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna start uh, the first burn in. So this is just to, so, as you can see, I'm definitely not a professional at this, and it's gonna take you a lot of time. So, like, don't don't go to the bush and and try this for the first time out there. Cause trust me, you're gonna get really frustrated. Oh, you know what? I don't think my hole is deep enough here. Let's. But yeah, if you just go out there without practicing this, you're gonna get really frustrated. Trust me, it is. A lot of work. Anybody says doing a friction fire is easy has never done it. Okay. 
So, uh, there we go. Okay. So there we go. So you can see we got a, we got it started a little bit. So now what we want to do is we got, want to cut a groove into this. So because you want somewhere for your ember to go. And this is why I always say design your own bushcraft knife because you know what? This little saw that I added to this knife is absolutely awesome for this kind of stuff. Same with notch work. Like I said, it's not the best saw, but for this kind of stuff, it's perfect. So, there we go. There's my groove, and you kind of want to go about 20% into the hole. Now also at the bottom, I'm going to carve out this section just because um, it's going to help let some let some air get to the ember all right so let's try to make a fire oh before i forget i also put a piece of wood right into my channel that way all the dust and embers that we build up you'll have something for it to go onto, so that way you can transfer it to your tinder pile here all right it's a nice easy pressure at first just so you can build up some nice dust and then once you got some of that good dust going, then we will increase the speed and the pressure. Oh, as long as. I got a number guys. Got a number. So I'm just gonna let it uh, soak in a little bit. Not wasting this one. Not wasting this one. Okay. Oh my god, it's a nice ember. Just drop it. Oh 
ね Boom! Got it, got it. Yes! <laughs> there you go, guys. That's a fire with the bow drill. Oh, like I said, anybody that thinks that this is freaking easy is crazy. But you know what? The more I practice this, the better I'm going to get. So, like I said, before you guys go to the bush, try this. Try this at home. I've probably put in a good two and a half, three hours trying to get this damn fire started with that. All I know is it worked. I made a freaking fire with a stick. Can you believe that? Anyways, I hope you guys really, really like that. I got another tool in my bushcrafting arsenal. And I'm stoked. So if you guys like that, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe down at the bottom. We'll catch you guys in the next one.